The Coast Guard ship Amundsen is anchored in a spectacular part of northern Labrador. This is the Nafak Fjord. The scenery is stunning, and with the naked eye, it's not hard to follow the peaks, valleys, and contours of the land. But ocean researchers need to know the peaks and valleys of the seabed. To do that, they're glad to have Daniel Amaro on board. Daniel studied ocean mapping at the Marine Institute. I get 3D maps of uh, kind of like a topographic map of the ocean floor. And as well, we look at, we look below the ocean floor too, to uh, find basically sediments for, for people who are looking to do coring or different studies uh, based on what's below the ocean floor as well. Daniel explains how he's able to slowly build the topographic map. We have a sonar that has been installed on the hull of the ship. And what it does is it uses acoustic pulses, so it uses sound that it projects down to the ocean floor. And this sound comes down, bounces off the ocean floor and comes back to the sounder. We use basically the time it took for the sound to bounce off the ocean floor and come back. And we use the speed of sound in the water to calculate exactly the distance from the ship down to the ocean floor. The skill set can lead ocean mappers to yeah. interesting work all over the world. Daniel Amaro is happy to be applying his knowledge in Canada. Well, just the Arctic itself is just so underexplored and it's so hard just to, to get up here, you know? And I, I love that I'm up here contributing too to, to science and to, to research. In the past few years, we map the ocean floor and we look for scour marks where glaciers might have scraped the ocean floor. And we had a researcher looking to do cores right inside those scour marks so that he can get information on the glaciers or ice that slid out from land. And so I can map that out with the multi-beam. We can get a 3D topographic view of the ocean floor. And then we pass straight over these scour marks to look at what sediments lie below the ocean floor. And they can use that information to pick their sites. Chris Morrissey is another graduate of the Marine Institute. He's a marine robotics specialist. I went to Marine Institute in uh, Newfoundland. I took specific schooling to become an ROV pilot. The ROV is, of course, covered in cameras. Along with that, too, we have two manipulators, which are robotic arms that obviously are good for manipulating things under the water. We take things down like scoops and push cores that help us pick up sediment and sponges and corals and other objects. As we've seen on board the Amundsen, the deployment of the ROV takes a lot of hands on deck. Once it's safely in the water, it makes a long, slow journey to the bottom. Roger that. Chris takes his place behind the controls and takes the researchers along for a fascinating ocean exploration. Yeah, it was pretty exciting. I mean, every time I go down, I see something new that uh, I've never seen before. And it's great to have uh, all the scientists there be able to explain to me what exactly they're looking for. I mean, me with a technical background, I go down and I don't really know what I'm looking at. A scientist will tell me what they're interested in, uh, what I should pick up for them. The driving isn't always easy down deep. There are obstacles and changing currents that make it difficult to hold position. Chris says the rewards always outweigh the challenges. Every time you see something exciting, everyone kind of pipes up and, ooh, excitement. And it's, uh, it's very, very satisfying to see everyone's reactions when they all see something that they've worked so hard to see and, and you're the one kind of helping them get that experience. Looks like it. Can you get Can a... you zoom in? That's yeah, interesting. Well, when... yeah, well, and go ahead and zoom there. Yes. Yeah, it's a carnivorous sponge. Yeah. Whoa. That's a, a clatter Oh my gosh. I've never seen one like that before. You must be learning so much about the ocean that you didn't know before. Yes, I, I definitely am. At Marine Institute, we took some oceanography courses, but uh, definitely I've never done any biology in my life. So coming here and working with these scientists has been very eye opening. Chris Morrissey is grateful for a job that's given him an eye into a world very few get, way down deep in the Labrador Sea. For Here and Now, I'm Jane Aidy with Land and Sea.